Jessica Bagula versus Carolina Mukova is the second semi-final for the Ladies US Open for 2024. Both players have been very impressive to get to this stage. Bagula entered the tournament as the number six seed and will take on Rogers in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, six, 6-3. Six, in the second round, she'll take on Kennan, who had just beaten Rodokanu in three sets in the first round. And over a close first set, will get through in straights. 7-6, six, 6-3. Six, Third round, she'll take on Miniro. But again, no problem for Bagula getting through in straights. 6-3, six, 6-3. Three, six, three. In the fourth round, she'll take on Schneider, the 18th seed, who's been playing really good over the last few months. But again, no problem for Bagula getting through in straights. 6-4, six, 6-2 six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Pagula would take on Sviontek, the number one seed and the champion from two years ago. And after a fast start, Pagula would get through in straights. 6-2, six, 6-4 six, to advance to the semifinals. Mugovar into the tournament, unseeded, and will take on Volley Nets in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, 7-5. In the second round, she'd take on Osaka, who just beat the number 10 seed Ostapenko in the previous round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3, six, 7-6. Seven, six. In the third round, she'd take on Potapova, who'd taken out Fernandez along the way. And again, no problem for Mugova getting through in straights. 6-4, six, 6-2. Six, in the fourth round, she'd take on Paulini, the fifth seed, who'd just come off back-to-back -back Grand Slam finals at the French Open in Wimbledon. But again, Mukova too strong, getting through in straights. 6-3, six, 6-3 three, six, three, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Mukova would take on the 22nd seed, Adaj Maya, who'd been very impressive this week as well. But after a close second set, Mukova would get through in straights. 6-1, six, 6-4 six, to advance to the semifinals. These two have only actually played the one time before. That was in Cincinnati a couple of weeks ago, where Pagula got the three sets win after coming back from a set down. So it's going to be really interesting to see how Mukova can change things around this time and make another Grand Slam final. If Mukova's going to win this one, she needs to use the variety and also get off to a good start like she has been this week. She hasn't dropped a set for the entire week. And I'm a little bit worried if she does drop a set, is she going to start doubting herself? So probably needs to win the first set to really gain that confidence and keep that confidence that she's built over the last two weeks. If Pagula's going to win this one, she's probably get off to a really good start and win that first set to really give those doubts to Mukova. Also try and use the crowd because the crowd are going to support her 100%. There's a lot of Americans still left in the draw in the semis, and she's going to get the beneficiary of that, having that support in that semifinal tomorrow, especially being after Navarro. It's going to help, and the crowd's going to be hyped. So Nizi used that. Love this matchup. Not the matchup that I think anyone would have had at the start of the week. Maybe Pagula, but Mukova unseated. Who would have thought she'd be this good? But I have to go with Pagula in this one. In three sets, I reckon she might just outlast Mukova. And there's a little bit of a health issue. It seemed like a sickness for Mukova yesterday in the Hadjaj Maya match. So I have to go with Pagula in three to make the final of the US Open. But let me know down the comments below who's making the final.